I have a problem. I'll save you the suspense. It's RSI. That's repetitive strain injury. And for me, that means I can cope with the amount of typing I do on a regular workday. But if I do any more than that, then the backs of my hands become really numb and painful. And I can't type anymore. And I can't do normal daily things like cooking or just picking things up. Like I can't do any of that. My hands are out of action for between one and two weeks. And it's really difficult and it's quite scary because I really love programming and I love doing projects in my spare time, but I haven't been able to do that for a really long time. But I found a solution. I learned to code by voice. It's a game changer and I'm so thankful that I came across this. So what I use is a software called Talon Voice and it's free and they have an amazing Slack community that will help you if you ever get stuck on anything. Um, and one of the people in the Slack community have made like a starter file thing. So when you download Talon, if you download his set of files, then straight away you can control your computer and you can use phrases like copy that, paste that, open this, focus Chrome, search. But what's also great about Talon is it's customizable. So say you're a person who sends emails every day and you always end your email by going kind regards, comma, your name, your job title, your number, blah, blah, whatever, um, you could set a custom command where you might say something like end email and it will just type out all of that stuff for you. Um, and your custom commands can be as complex as you want. Like it doesn't just need to be text-based, like it can open applications, send things, do do really complex stuff. Like it's quite amazing. I'm, I'm still a beginner. I'm still learning how to use it. So I've not gone too much into the complex stuff, but I'm quite excited to learn it all because it looks, it looks incredible. Another cool thing I use is uh, Toby Eye Tracker. It, this is optional, like you can use Talon voice just by using your voice, but a lot of people also use an eye tracker. So you have this little eye tracker thingy that you put at the bottom of your screen. And when you turn that on and connect it to Talon, your mouse just follows your eye movement. So anyway, as I said, I'm, I'm quite new to all of this and I've not been using it for very long, maybe, well, a couple of months, but only here and there, like after work and stuff. But now I think I'm ready to do like my first proper programming project completely by voice. Like I'm not going to touch my computer at all and I'm gonna see if I can make a little app. It's not gonna be a very exciting app. It's gonna be like the most basic app I can think of. All I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a mobile app and there will be a button on the screen. And when I click the button, an animation will appear. That's, that's literally it. It's not an exciting app. It's not a complicated app. It's just the most basic app that I can think of. And I'm going to do it completely without touching my computer. And then from there, hopefully I'm going to move on to more complicated apps and more complicated voice coding techniques. But that is the plan for today. And I would like to take you along with me. Okay, so I'm about to do my very first programming project using only my voice. I'm not gonna touch my computer at all, even though it is very tempting when you're learning, but no, I really want to learn to use my computer only by my voice. So let's do this. Um, okay, so first of all, my microphone is already set up so I can control my computer by my voice, but I also want to turn my eye gaze monitor on so that I can control the mouse with my eyes. So I will do that now. If I can remember the phrase, control mouse. Okay, yeah, I got it, <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so if I make a weird popping sound during the video, that's how you click on things. So like, it's pretty cool. So you don't have to touch your trackpad or mouse at all. Clear line, word terminal, enter. Each plex pit odd, space. Sit near sit trap, space. Camel, my project using just my voice. Enter. So my project has been created. Um, and now I just need to open it. Cap, 
drum, space. Camel, my project using just my voice. Enter. Word code, space, dot, enter. So that code dot was just a shorthand for open my project. So let's go to the main app file. All right, I know, you know what, I'm just going to open the simulator and I will show you what you get given just does a blank slate. Clear line. Plex. Enter. Okay, so here we have a simulated iPhone and now I will run the app so we can see what we've got. Drag. Drag. Each plex pit odd space. Word start. Enter. Okay, great. So our project has been started and now I want to run it on the simulator. So if I just sit, do that, it should pop up. There we go. And it might take a minute to load. So I'll show you when it's loaded. Right, so this is what you get when you make a new project. Um, you get this main file and you get this bit of text, but we don't actually want this bit of text. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that and replace it with the button that I do want. Clear line. Angle, title button, space, slash, right angle, command dot, Word title equals string click me space word on equals enter second word function space camel on press clear word camel on press paren Go right, braces, braces, camel on press, right brace, command sun. And there's our button, which obviously doesn't do anything, but still it's a button. All right, so now we want to add the video I think we might have to import the video component. I'm not sure if it has it. Let's see. I'll try it and if it goes red, then we're gonna have to import it. Enter. Word import. Space. Braces. Title video. Go right. Space. Word from. Space. String expo. And go left. Delete sixth, delete fifth, pit odd, dash, air, vest, go right, semicolon, no, I can't remember the import and it is red, so I'm going to have to look it up. which I may have already done previously, apparently. Oh yeah, I remember. Wheel gaze. Wheel stop. That's a super helpful command. If I say wheel gaze and then I look up, it scrolls up. And if I look down, it scrolls down. So helpful. Drag. Copy that.
paste that, enter. And we should see this red squiggle disappear once it's imported. And then we can use the video component. There we go, it's gone. Angle, title video, space, slash, right angle, space, word source, not that source, delete tenth, delete third, odd, urge, equals, Actually, we should put the video into this project before we do that. That would be helpful. Drag. Drag. There we go, it's in our project. Oh, it's just a little animation that I made on my iPad. It's really not very exciting, but you know, there we have it. Braces, word require, paren, string dot, go left, delete third, dot, slash, word assets, slash camel i did it ship vest sit trap delete drum dot made pit four command sun it doesn't exist oh because i have the i capital delete sit Control sun. Command sun. Command sun. Ah, oh, why isn't it showing? Oh, right, right, because we have to set a width and a height. Enter. Word video. Colon. Space. Braces. Enter, word width, colon, space, 400, comma, enter, word height, colon, space, 300, comma, command sun, command sun, oh, I have to actually give it the style, space, Space, word style, equals, braces, word styles, dot, command sun. Hey, there's a video. Okay, so I need to make it play, and then I need to make it only show when I click the button, and then I am satisfied that I have made some kind of project using just my voice. I mean, it's not a very, you know, exciting project, but it's a project and I did not touch my computer. So let's do that. Space. Control space. Word play. Command sun. Command sun. It's playing. Okay, cool. Just one thing left to do then. All right, so to make it only show when we click the button. Oh, all right. I also want to make it loop. I don't want it to just stop like that. Delete sixth, go left, word loop. All right, so now to get it to only show when I click the button, I'm going to make a state that can be true or false and 
I'm going to show the video when that state is true. When I click the button, I will change the state to true so that it will show. Enter second. Phrase const space square bracket almost delete fourth camel show video comma space Camel set show video space equals space title react dot word use brackets no each paren word false semicolon enter. Okay, so what I've done there is I've set this constant show video to be false. Um, and then I am going to change this on press function for the button. And when I press it, I'm going to change show video to true. Enter. Camel set show video. Nope. <laughs> Clear word. Camel set show video. What are you doing? Clear word. Word set. Title show. Title video. There we go. Delete second. Delete fourth. Paren. Word true. Go right. Semicolon. Okay, I'm getting an error because it's not in the function, so it doesn't know about the show video. So basically, I just have to move it into the function. Select down second. Alt up second. Space. Left brace. Go right. Delete. Camel show video. Space. Ampersand second. Delete. Go away right. Right brace. Go away left. Command sun. I think this might work. I did it! I actually did it! I'm, I'm quite impressed. <laughs> okay, that was, that was cool. Well, that was me making my first app completely by voice. As you can tell, I was, I was quite pleased with it all. I'm just so incredibly thankful that I found this because it really gives me hope that I can continue my career and my passion for coding, even if my RSI symptoms persist. And so I think it's a really amazing thing. I do think I could definitely get better at it. In that video I just did that, when I was typing out the, the tags for the HTML tags, so you have like angle, whatever the element is, space, slash, right angle. I would rather just say tag button, tag image, and it just, it just does that all for me. So I think in my next projects, that's what I would like to focus on. If you got this far, thanks for watching.